Good morning. Um, happy Monday. If you're watching this on a Monday. Um, so I'm doing a little video of meal planning today because um, I posted a photo of some of my chopped up veggies for snacks for the week and um, I had a couple people questioning me about what's the best websites to get information of when meal planning or what are my favorite tips um, to do meal planning. So I'm just making a little video to summarize it all in one. So, <clears throat> tips. So, um, <clears throat> my favorite tips are um, on Sunday mornings, um, after I do my workout, after I get my activity in for the day, unless it's my rest day, uh, me and my husband will sit down. Most of the time, um, I choose the entire menu, but um, He's very easygoing, so he's like, oh, yeah, whatever, I'm good, you know. He's easy. So, um, but sometimes he'll throw in something that he wants during the week, special, or sometimes I can't think of all, all the day's worth of food, so I'm like, hey, help me out here. Um, but anyway, so we go through and we talk about dinner, so... Sunday night we're gonna have this, Monday night we're gonna have this, Tuesday night we're gonna have this. And I just make a menu. And usually for lunches, my husband and I will take leftovers or um, I will make a salad or a wrap um, for my lunch. Um, a lot of the times I don't eat leftovers. I don't know. I'm just weird. Um, but so that him taking leftovers for lunch saves us money and um, time preparing um, a lunch as well. Um, so after we make a menu, I make a list of everything that we need. We go through our cupboard, so I'll name off, um, the ingredients that I need for each <clears throat> meal. And my husband will help look through the cupboards and the pantry and the refrigerator to see if we have that item. Because there's been a time or two where I thought I needed avocados or onions, and we just had an abundance of them, but... If you're like me, you can never have too many avocados. Um, so we sit down and we make a list of everything that we need for the week. And then um, we do our grocery shopping. Now, <clears throat> when I grocery shop, when you grocery shop, when anyone grocery shops, the best way to grocery shop is to stay around the perimeter of the store. Um, everything in the middle, the aisles, usually are packaged and processed and contains not so good stuff but you know sometimes we got to do what we got to do um so we grab you know like canned beans or tomatoes or you know whatever you do but um make sure that you're packing your grocery carts with you know fresh veggies fresh meats uh fresh produce stuff like that <clears throat> now um the rest of my Sunday, um, I spend, you know, chopping up fruits and vegetables for snacks, putting them in containers, um, anything that you prepare yourself for the week, like if you're making something in a crock pot and you just want to put everything in one container and you need to just throw it in the crock pot in the morning, um, <clears throat> there's certain fruits and veggies that, um, you should... You know, you should never slice up an avocado beforehand, or apples, or bananas. Um, there are certain things that are better when they're not chopped up beforehand because they turn brown or they get mushy or whatever. Um, so I would just... I know celery. Celery you chop up and you keep in water. I like to wrap mine or get mine wet and then just put it in a Ziploc bag, but without um, drying it off because... That helps keep the freshness in. Um, so I prep everything and then I put it in the fridge. And, you know, whether you're going to work and you make your lunch and then you get home and you make your dinner with everything that's prepped, that's good. Or if you stay at home and you could still do this because you're, it's easier for you to grab something that you've already pre-prepped um, instead of like, oh, I'm so hungry now, I need this bowl of Rice Krispies or, you know, whatever. Um, because when you're hungry, you're bound to grab anything. Um, so if you reach that point, then at least you have something good for you 
at hand instead of having to go through the time of making it. <clears throat> so there's that. Um, my favorite places to get recipes that I've been loving are SkinnyTaste.com. <clears throat> has delicious menus. Um, they have everything from breakfast, lunch, dinner, appetizers, snacks. Oh, that's the same as appetizers. Um, desserts. Um, baking stuff, you know, uh, peanut butter, banana nut muffins that I'm going to make. I'm excited about that. Um, but, and then there's um, eatcleandiet.com that has a lot of eat clean recipes. Um, Gracious Pantry has a lot of eat clean recipes, which is yummy too. Um, so, yeah. Um, let's see, what am I cooking tonight? It's Meatless Monday. So I'm cooking um, spinach manicotti with whole wheat. Um, lasagna noodles because I can't find whole wheat manicotti. Um, so I'm sure it will be delicious. But let me know if you guys have any questions. Um, these are just my tips um, and whatnot. So I hope it helps and have a good day. Happy meal planning.